All right, so thank you so very much uh, for having me here today. I'm very delighted to uh, be back. This is only my second time here. Um, and so here's why. So have you ever gone to the grocery store and just for one thing, right? Just one thing, okay. Maybe two things. You know, when I was growing up, my mother would say, I'm just going in for one thing. And of course, we would come out with more than one thing. So, okay, maybe two things uh, that you can easily carry in your hands, all right? Uh, do you grab a shopping cart? All right. If you're like me, you probably don't, right? Because you don't need one. Okay. Uh, you're just going in for one thing, and if it's one of those stores that, um, you know, those stores where the uh, they normally only have one checkout line open, right? And so they let the line just build up and build up and build up, and you're like, okay, I just want to get in and get out, please. Uh, so um, that's why I'm here, uh, because most of the time people equate e-commerce with a shopping cart, okay? Um, I'm sorry, you've been here all day diving into a shopping cart plugin, and here I am, I'm gonna talk about something else. Uh, and so e-commerce doesn't necessarily equal shopping cart. Uh, just like you can go into a physical store uh, without grabbing a cart, you're just going for, for one thing, uh, you can have an online store without needing a shopping cart, okay? And so let's, let's say uh, you've you're going to someone's website, and I can pick on Brian. This is Brian who does uh, post status. I've picked on him before. So you go and you're just buying, let's say, a membership, right? Or it's um, here he has this uh, post status membership club. You get an online Slack channel, things like that, all right? And so you click the sign up or the purchase button, and then what do you see? This product has been added to your cart, and you're like, huh, what, product, cart? I was just buying a membership. Right? Why do I need a, a products and carts? You know, this is just something digital. Right? So you're like, okay, well, let's go with it. So you're sent to the shopping cart, right? And then you have to go through this whole multi-step process. Right? They want your contact information and then billing and shipping and all of that. And you're like, okay, why do I have to click on all of these things? This is so very simple. I don't need this, you know, four-page process. And so, has anyone else had that experience? Anyone? Yeah, okay. I thought maybe I, I would be the only one, but I'm not, okay? And so all of this for just a simple payment when it doesn't need to be that way, okay? And if you have a WordPress site, then you probably already have what you need. And that's a form builder, okay? And you might say, well, what's a form builder? Well, you know that thing that you use, that you use to add a contact form to your site? That's a form builder. These are some of the popular ones. All right, and so most of us, uh, I think Michelle just talked about it, you're going to add a contact form to your site, but it can actually do so much more, okay? And one of those things that it can do is take payments. That's why I'm here. So let's look at what you may need to have um, in order for people to buy from you online. All right, the first thing you need to be able to do is take their money. I mean, that's what we're talking about, payments, right? And so all of the professional form builders that are out there they provide some type of payment processing add-on, whether it's PayPal or Stripe or something else, okay? All of them have it. And so, if we want to create a payment form, uh, we would add, let's see here, this is Gravity Form, so we would add a product field and a credit card field, all right? You just take the, the field on the right and you drag it over to the left, uh, as simple as that, okay? And then here's your form. And someone can come, she just talked about, you know, make, make sure that you only have the fields that you need. So that's very simple, two fields. They put in their credit card information and you have money, okay? Um, you've been knee deep in setting up WooCommerce, I'm sorry, um, good luck. No, I'm just saying, <laughs> I know they've done a great job with you. Um, all right, and if you use Ninja Forms, uh, it's the same type of thing. Um, take a product field and slide it over to the right and uh, you'll be able to take your payment, all right? All right, there it is. That's the form on the front end, and here it pops up. They're using the uh, Stripe pop-up, and the person uh, inputs their credit card information. All right, now, the next thing that you may want to be able to do is you may need their contact information. Awesome, this is actually perfect for a contact form. All right, so on the right, you have your name field, um, your email field, and maybe an address field if you need that, and you add that to the form, and 
there you go. You have complete control of the information that you need to collect. Okay? Without needing to customize any payment templates or doing any code or anything like that. All right? And so here's an example uh, of someone who has customized their payment form. Okay? This looks like this is some kind of, what is it, 147 a month for eight months, contact information, billing information, the payment method, and that's it. Okay? All right. The next thing that you might need to do is collect specific information for a product. Here it is. Uh, if you've ever uh, purchased a computer, you may, um, you may want to be able to uh, select what you want, you know, what processor, memory, all that kind of stuff. Well, if you're using a shopping cart plugin, I don't know if you've noticed, but you actually can't do this by default, okay? And it's, it's crazy because you actually have to purchase an add-on to integrate with your form builder in order to do this. This is using the WooCommerce Gravity Forms add-on, okay? So it's like, well, why do you need to use a form builder to use your shopping cart? All right, that, to me, that, that just doesn't make sense. And if you're just selling something simple, then you know, why not cut out the whole shopping cart and just use a form builder? And of course, again, I say this to you after you have sat here and spent all day diving into your shopping cart plugin. I'm sorry, <laughs> but just an alternative, something that may work for you. All right, and so now we're going to look at something a little more advanced. All right, you may want people to be able to subscribe to a recurring plan subscription, you know, where they get charged every month or every week. Um, anyone here ever subscribe to one of those uh, boxes that you get every month? Yeah, so I know people that use a form builder for that. They don't use a shopping cart plugin. So here, uh, this is a product field, and then on the product field, they are um, saying, they're checking the box there and saying, hey, this is a subscription product. And they can set, if there's a trial, they can set that. Um, they can create a custom plan if they need to. So that's a little bit more advanced than uh, what you're used to with just a simple contact form, right? Uh, the next thing that they might want to be able to do is reuse their billing information. All right, and so here it is. We have a form. Uh, again, people, this is actually for a um, donation form that we created. Um, people could either pay one time with, you know, give a one-time donation with either PayPal uh, or their credit card, or they could give a recurring donation with either PayPal or their credit card. And over here to the right, you'll see that if they came to our site before and they paid with some information, they have the option to choose if they want to reuse that same uh, credit card information without having to re-input that, okay? Another thing that you might want them to be able to do is either update their billing information or their subscription. So here, we have an option where they can update their credit card if they have something new. Um, they can either cancel their subscription, maybe uh, change to a different plan. And again, this is all with a form builder, okay? Another thing you might want them to do is maybe pay in their own currency. Uh, if you have international users, so here is a currency field uh, where you can either allow anyone from any currency to choose or you can say, well, here are the set currencies on my form. You know, you can only choose from, you know, these two or three. Okay. Let's see. Taxes. Uh, you can either do a manual tax calculation or um, you can use uh, some of the available tax APIs. This is the tax field. Um, you can see one of the APIs there is Taximo. Um, there's another one here that's a sponsor um, at AvaTax. Um, so that's, again, that's something that you can use, do with a form builder. Shipping, a shipping field. If you need to send custom receipts, uh, maybe uh, through PDFs, there's a PDF add-on for that, okay? You can sit there, um, sorry, you can uh, come here and, you know, select uh, what you want for your uh, PDF. There's a whole uh, process here. I won't get into that, but that's an example. Uh, you can track your orders if you're using Google Analytics, uh, e-commerce tracking. Also, um, there's this concept of abandoned carts, right, with the shopping cart plug-in. And so form builders have the concept of abandoned forms, okay? So 
if someone comes and they don't fill out all the information, um, you can you know, send them follow-up saying, hey, did you forget what was on your form? Okay. So you know, this is not just a uh, contact form uh, type of thing. Uh, form builders can either be as simple or as advanced as you want them to be. All right, and so any, any uh, contact form that you have uh, will do. Um, there isn't much that a form builder cannot do except be a shopping cart. Okay, so if you, just like you wouldn't uh, grab a shopping cart if you only need, you know, one or two items that you can carry, um, you know, you wouldn't, and I'm talking about in a uh, physical store, for an, on, for an online store, if you just need to collect simple payments, you know, a form builder may be, uh, may be a good option for you. Okay, um, just use the form builder you already have. Uh, you're in complete control. All right, so this is what you do not want to do with a form builder. Okay, and this is from, this is from someone's actual site, and I, I did it like that on purpose, all right, uh, because they had the bright idea of creating a store with a form builder, and so I think they're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are about 12 products on that page, and you just kind of have to scroll down and select which one you want. No, don't do that. Just use a shopping cart plugin. WooCommerce is great. Just do that, okay? Um, all right, so part of what I was going to do was kind of go through a demo, but we're trying to um, wrap it up here. So what I'm going to do is... Um, I have a few bonuses for you. Yes, I have a few bonuses for you. So if you'd like all the slides that I went through, uh, as far as well as a detailed write-up um, and the list of everything uh, that I used uh, for those different options there, as well as I also have, if you're interested in a form builder, I have some attendee-only discounts uh, from the plugin authors. Uh, so Gravity Forms and Caldera uh, WP. Um, and I also have uh, a couple of case studies for how people have used uh, form builders for e-commerce, uh, including, I kind of alluded to it, to it there, but a charity water type of uh, crowd fundraising system, which is really cool. Um, I really love it. I talked about it uh, last year. So that's the link where you can get the slides. Uh, I am going to take it down when I leave here, so make sure that you go ahead and, um, and get that because I just, I get people coming to the form and spamming it for some reason. So I'm going to take it down, and I'll also be around for the rest of the day. I know we're running out of time, but I'll be here for the rest of today, and I'm happy to answer any, you know, can my form builder do this, or is this a good job uh, type of question. Yes? Yeah, sure. Um, so, and I'll just do this really quickly, and then we can um, probably talk about it afterwards. Um, but like I said, any professional form builder, you saw that all of them, as far as taking payments, they all have the payment add-ons. Um, you might find one that maybe doesn't have um, Authorize.net or Braintree, but Stripe and PayPal, which are the main two, um, all of them have it. So it really just comes down to um, some of those advanced things that I talk about. A particular form builder might not have uh, something like that, so they might not have an integration with the tax system, um, or they might not have the ability for people to come back and, you know, reuse their billing information or update. So we can, you know, I can talk about that with you afterwards. Okay? Excuse me. Um. Yeah. Yeah. They are. They're. They're similar. Yes. Um, like I said, if you just need a simple payment, something simple, like I said, you know, you're going into the grocery store, you're just grabbing one or two items that you can carry, then I think that form builders are a great option for those types of things. You don't need a full shopping cart for that. Okay. Yes, I'm done. Yes. <laughs> no, no. I'll just be here today. I'm sorry. Yeah, abs absolutely. I'll I'll be here. Um, I'll be outside, and I'll be here until you know they shut us down. So. Okay.
Thank you.